Crab Rangoons were delicious, though. They were delicious. Yes. We, we should thank the chef for that. And also the lady who made the Crab Rangoons, where we bought them from. Yes. She was very kind. And yes. Very nice, yes. Yes. Support your, support your local businesses. But that was short. And that's a wrap. Okay, see y'all later. Bye. Oh God, the kips, the skip, the the cutscenes aren't skippable. No. The cutscenes aren't skippable. <laughs> no. Excuse me while I clamp your eyes open and force you to watch the whole thing. All it's over. a sin. Yeah. It's a sin. <laughs> What's this you mean about sin? Using Ludwig. He didn't harm nobody. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you are fond of music? Yes. <laughs> are you referring to the track? Yes! It's like, stop it! I'm sorry, my boy, but this is only for your own good. Yeah. That sucks. Oh, yeah. That not only have you been basically uh, mentally... Uh, Con conditioned. Conditioned, like... Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, like, uh, conditioned or... Um, uh, not hypnotized, brainwashed. Pretty much, yeah. Like brainwashed to not be violent or like even consensual sex. Yeah. Right? Uh, or anything like that. You also cannot at least have the uh, 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 luxury of sitting back and listening to your favorite composer. Right. Which is horrible. Like, that's horrible that it. Because it's like. It, it, it's, your, it's your source of joy. Though what's actually really ironic is earlier on in the movie when they were uh, showing the uh, uh, part where he was listening to the music, he was listening to, he was imagining horrible things. True, true. So it's kind of ironic that he's able to fantasize about all the violence while wow. listening to it, but they're not allowed to cut the violence to it. So, meaning that I mean, of course. So, so that would be worth it then, in terms of what they were trying to accomplish. I, I, I mean, yes. But at the same time, it's kind of like one of those things of. Uh, bye. Okay, I get this, but I don't get that. Well, his face is clearly made of like. Kevlar. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how he did not get shot in the face. He's Kevlar face, obviously. Yeah. Wait. Balls. I cannot believe I can't skip this. That sucks so much. I'm worried we might not be able to skip the other cutscene as well, where it's like, oh, all for help. Yeah, yeah. No. Didn't I just see you a second ago? Now, see, here's the thing. Not for nothing. Yeah. But if I was in charge like that, and this dude basically went from me going like, stop the bus, mm -hmm. right? And on that was my stepson, sort of. Right. And... The leader, my, the leader of, of of the little squad, is supposed to stop him. Almost shoots me in the face. Uh, shoots my stepson in the face. Yeah, my my thing is gonna be like, okay, bang. Yeah. So everyone else, we we understand, but he. he, he so it's kind of justified that he's killing. Well, no, he's taking far too much like rage, murderous pleasure out of this. Right. You know, again, you gotta hate that. Why do you keep you getting know? blood on your shoes? You didn't entirely fuck it up. Yeah, really. Well, actually, considering everything that happened, I think if he had killed the stepson, mm -hmm. I think that guy would have been moved over to the uh, permanent torture station the kind where you're not really tortured for information but you're just tortured because tortured yeah because torture and you're not allowed to die Ooh. so so kind of like uh what was it from um 
um, uh, Princess Bride. Yes, exactly. Yeah, the 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 pit of despair. <laughs> Don't even think about trying to escape. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, war crimes. Yes. Hold my bloody murder bin! <laughs> yeah. That's a face. Like, like, like I said, and we're burning the. the like the evidence. All of it. Why not? Well, not even evidence, because really, who's going to, like. Who's going to bring that guy to, like, uh, we need to get you for. Besides, like, yeah. Interpol or. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get that, but they can't really get in there just yet. So. Right. Like, of course, there's got to be, like, a lot of uh, paperwork and. We're not even. We're not even going to get into that. But <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like, why are you burning the truck? Sure, why not? I mean, you just murdered a dude with a pen. I didn't realize that he was just that he just walked into the room. You can't. You can't change yeah. No, I can't. Damn it! Absolutely no skipping. Ah! Are we gonna watch the horribleness all over again? He, Connor's like, he's just a face. Uh, he, he has no face, he's just a camera. That would have been funny. <laughs> you look in the mirror and it's just a floating camera. Yeah, yeah that would have been funny. Like holding a gun with two disembodied arms. <laughs> Ghost arms. Yeah, that's actually the problem with uh, the VR, especially like in uh, Resident Evil 7, mm -hmm. is that it's just disembodied arms. When you're doing the VR, you're able to look down more than the programmers were expecting. Right. And so uh, they, uh, it's just like these disembodied arms. So like it just it goes down to like right around the elbow, if not just past, and then there's absolutely nothing. So it's like you don't even see feet or anything like that. Nope. Well, that's weird. I mean, no, that I'm used to looking down and not necessarily seeing the feet. I mean, being in VR, looking down, just seeing the arm go to the elbow, and then there's nothing. Just nothing. All I love that. This guy's like that guy's like that guy's my friend. I like that guy. <laughs> he touches me and he's not a he's like just going, just just let him be crazy. Just, yeah. Let him be crazy. He's not being crazy towards you. <laughs> he's being crazy towards the urn. Like that's where he, he, trust me. He's being crazy you know. towards mom. Yeah. No memory of presence. Oh. It's like, yeah, she left because of the Golden Circle, not because I'm a raging homicidal maniac I mean, who stabs people with fork tongs for no apparent reason. reason. It's like, how dare you text at the table? See? Ow! Whoa! Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you? Well, to be fair, I mean, to be fair, you know, I love that with the guards. We're just, we're not checking. No. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, he was most likely born way before the invention, the invention of texting. So, yeah, it's not like he it was a kid growing up and his parents had to instill in him the idea of don't text at the table. Try for help. Try for help. You mean it, boy. Help! Help! From your diaphragm! Help! Help! Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. Oh, that's sick. It is kind of stupid. What? It's Good. like, I am trapped at the table with the warlord deep into the center of his territory where y'all cannot get. Right. Because if you could, you would have gotten here and blown him away and that would have been done with it. Please send help. Right. Well, what I'm wondering is, even if he didn't text, would he still be? Maybe, maybe if he te if he didn't text, he probably could have been spared the. Nah, he was he was screwed. Yeah, he is screwed. 
Diplorous compound. Yes. All right, now we're going to go do the thing. Wait, but the crab rangoons. Yes. Take the money. Ha, ha, ha. See, I wish I could actually eat, like, there was an option to eat the crab rangoons. And, like, if I did, he didn't kill the guy. He didn't kill the chef. That would be, that would make all the sense in the world. Because it'd be like, oh, okay. Well, at least he tried the crab rangoons. Yeah, he, he tried the crab rangoons and he liked them, but he left for some other reason, so... That pain bird is back. Ah, the bird of pain. There's been a recent rise in Golden Path activities in the area surrounding Banapur. We've increased our presence in all the southern border stations in response to the intercepted shipments of weapons and supplies, presumably destined for the Golden Path. All convoys and patrols should be on high alert for terrorist movements. Sergeant Misra. I wonder if that was uh, the dude who got pegged by the pen. I would not be surprised. It's like, say, say Wait. hello, say hello. Hello. All right, what you're doing is jumping. You're <laughs> jumping. Uh, say apple. All right, we're just, we're just going to move on from that. <laughs> this is, this is, this is how we say, this is how we say hello, where I come from. Ah, getting money. Yeah, bird of pain, looking for its mate. Totally, that's exactly what that is. Soaring high, waiting to be pegged. <laughs> Ooh, stairs. Yes. Try. Yeah, all in all, this is a really pretty place. It really is. Oh, hi, American flag. Oh, uh, that's one of those, uh... Would you please, please give give me the the dagger? What? Uh, from the Golden Child. The girl is like, hmm, we would like the dagger, and then Mr. Miyagi is like, let him ask for it himself, and he gets it. He kind of beatboxes with it instead of like spinning. He goes, w -w -w would you give g -g 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 give me the dagger? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. See, I actually wonder what would happen if I just chilled out here for the remainder of the 15 minutes. Because he would, in, in theory, walk back up and see me. Right, he'd be like, what are you doing down there? Yeah. Money! So... Business class, $16,000. Dang! Well, I guess United got permission to fly in there. <laughs> well, it did say it was a 27-hour flight from Minneapolis to India. A girl? Hi, Daddy. I hope you're working, having a good time in Dubai. Mommy said that you were merging two banks or something, but I hope you don't have to work too hard and still have time to do some sightseeing. Maybe do some shopping. It's my birthday soon. Love you, Daddy. X's and O's. Is that him or is that some dude he murdered? Only one way to find out. Yes, Connor's like, hi, I'm a warlord. Hold my blade. And let's say, no, that was a pin. That was, that was not a dagger. That was a pin. <laughs> I didn't, that makes it even more terrifying that it was just a pen. Yeah, I, I think, if like, I think once you open this door, uh, the shit, the, uh, yeah, the shit's on. I the, think that's, the fan that's, will be covered with yes caca fecal matter. Okay, McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Because the plan went to shit. 
I was just gonna say because of the Holy Grail, but Terrible. that too. I take my oversized hairpin. This looks like hell. What does the golden path want with him? Sorry. Hey, babe. Hey, listen, I'm in a meeting right now. I can't really talk. Yeah, you know, it is stressful times over here. We've got a new client, and I am not sure he's going to buy it. No, I, I will call you as soon as it is done. I don't think it'll take much longer. Yeah, how are the girls? Wow! This is your stem nerve. Twisting it will be. Hold on a second. Baby! Hi, honey! Yeah. Someone knows his cultural sensitivity. And there I am, my wife at work, my kids at school, and I'm sitting on the couch every day staring at that idiot box. But that's when I saw him. Dr. Phil. Do you, do you have him up here, Dr. Phil? Wow. Amazing. He says to me, and I remember this very clearly because it, it, it really stuck with me. If I'm going to be really happy, I have to find. Like that. To be fair, this is Dr. Phil we're talking about. I don't really follow Dr. Phil that much. You didn't even Ooh. give him an ant the time to answer. How is he being shocked through his clothing? Maybe it's the I mean at that point it would be heat. Uh okay. I mean, I thought we were really building up to something, but sure, you can just walk away. Did you walk away because I passed a certain checkpoint? Damn! I, I think he did. I was really invested in this conversation. Like, I've played this game like, I've beaten this game like three times. I never got to that point. You just kept walking? I, I just kept crouching. Jeez. I hear crickets. Do you think he's going to come back? I don't know. Uh, I wonder what would happen if I just hung out here. Sup? Remember you were the guy who was trying to get me into the border? Yeah. yeah I'm just going to watch you suffer. Okay, carry on. As I've stated before, I am here to return my mother's ashes. That is it. Right. Okay, look. I am not Han Solo with this, a heart of gold. I'm just Han Solo. I'm going to take this money. I am going to pay off all of these debts and good luck. <laughs> I mean... Like, I might sneak in and, and like, stab that that guard in the throat, unhook you, you know? Kind of like where he doubled 
back at the end of A New Hope. Yeah. You know, you're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. Okay, you good? Great. I'm gonna go pay my debts. Talk to you later. And, like, flies Bye. off. Yeah. I wonder if you can actually save that dude. Uh, no, I don't think so. Damn. I think I've got a level of anti torturous. Yeah. Sorry. I, I couldn't resist. I was expecting him to like have his shirt off or something. And like uh like that I, like like car starters on uh, his chest. Yeah, it's attached to his nipples, and I've been like, not the nipples! Oh, those hurt. Actually, I'm not a doctor. Nor am I any particular type of of knowledge of torture, <laughs> but I'm thinking having uh, car batteries like the little starters yeah. that close to your heart, I, I think would kill you. I mean, like immediately. There's only one way to find out for certain. So if you'll excuse mm -hmm. me, I'm just gonna take off my. I mean, I can't exactly sit there and call um, comic books like truth. Mm -hmm. But in Kick-Ass, they, uh, they attach, they attach the, uh, starters, right, the clips, yeah. to his testicles. Oh! Yes. Oh! In the comic, they did not punch him or hit him oh. or smack him or, no. They attached the jumper cables, that's what it's called, jumper cables. They attached oh. the jumper cables to his testicles and then put the other two the car battery. Shit. Uh, yes. Ow. Yes. I I I can feel that right now. That actually like he, hurts. he sat there, he sat there and he was just like, yeah folks, I wanna tell you that I stayed strong. Nah. I told him fucking like every possible thing. Oh like when I was when I got done wetting the bed, like I, I it's just I wanted the pain to stop. Huh. Though, it's actually one of those things that um, torture is actually a very unreliable way of getting the information. Really? Yes. Because after a certain point, the person who's being tortured will tell you whatever you they think you want to hear just to get the pain to stop. Hmm. They, uh, it's actually quoted in, um, uh, uh, Reservoir Dogs, where the guy's like, a uh, nice guy, Eddie, is just sitting there like, what are you doing? And they're like, well, you know, we figured if we, we could torture the information and find out who set us up, he goes, look, if you wail on that guy hard enough, he'll tell you he started the Chicago fires, but that don't exactly make it so. Right. And that makes a lot of sense. That that quote makes a lot of sense yeah. now, because, yeah, yeah. But um, the uh, the uh, yeah, but Mr. Blonde, or no, was it Mr. White? Mr. White, yeah, was he was just torturing it just for the fun of it? No, 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 no. That was Mr. Blonde. Oh yeah, Mr. Blonde. Yeah, Mr. Blonde was doing it just for the fun of it. Yeah, Michael Madsen's character. Yeah, it's just yeah. Because because even then he's like, he he's like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it just to get information out. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's still. This is a long. I, I think he's gone. Yeah. I don't know. Actually, I wonder if I can go back <laughs> and go up there and see if the guy. Nope. Oh, we're locked. No, yeah, that that is the door of no return. Okay. Which, All right. Maybe if we walked around the palace before. Before. No, we I walked. Down. I'm pretty sure I walked everywhere I could. I was not as <clears throat> investigative with. Really, bro. Really. Really. He's, he seems like he's of sound mind. You know, because you want to be comfortable when you're friggin' torturing the hell out of someone. Here's what I'm wondering, though. Like, you're standing right there at that window. What if that dude was to look up and be like, can, can you help me out? Can, can you help me? Yeah. At least shoot me. And then it's like, yeah, put no. Put me out of my misery. No, I can't. And yeah, it's like, no, I can't. I gotta go. Sorry. 
You're on your own. Interact. Oh. Ajingani. My name is Simba. I'm with the Golden Path. Golden Path? We're friends. I knew your father. We're here to rescue you, son of Mohan. What about Darpan? You are our priority. We need to get you out of here safely, no matter the cost. Darpan will understand. understand. Now stay okay. close. But there's like one guy guarding you. Yeah. <laughs> we can get him out of here. In fact, we're this far. Why don't why don't we just kill uh, Abu Dhabi or whatever the frick his name is, the uh, Mr. Bleach Hair? Yeah. Why don't we just kill him and be done with it? The guy who's like, oh, I'm in Abu Dhabi when in reality he's here instead. Yeah. No, I'm so I was saying his name. I don't know how to pronounce his name or even remember it. Uh, so I was just silly, silly in calling him, uh, calling him actually Abu Dhabi. Oh yeah. Oh no, no. The, uh, Hagen, Hagen, that's Can I have a gun? Yeah. Whee! Yeah, because this is totally safe. What the? Okay, now there's elephants. Sure, why not? <laughs> They've seen us! Send it's in the elephants! <laughs> And you gotta have the Bollywood soundtrack to it, too. That's... In reality, I feel like that's that would be the real situation. I'm sorry, you just gave me a gun. I've never yeah. used this before. Yeah, or, um, like, I I've never killed anybody before. Exactly. I'm sorry. I just came here to spread my mom's ashes. My god, it's like you've never held a gun before! Gee, you friggin' think! I think, you know what, I think, I think I get why he thinks that he's good with guns. Because this guy's come from America. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Oh, he's from America, he's gotta know how to use yeah, a gun. Yeah, right? all Americans know how to use yeah. guns. <laughs> Especially when they come from Texas. <laughs> I love that line. Aw, oh, darn, we brought all these foreign exchange students down to see this place. Where'd you bring them from? Texas? Ah, oh, shit. We need more prayer in school. Yeah. Wakey, wakey, and eggs and bakey. Uh, I think he's okay. I just... Uh, I just gotta remove this tree. Yeah, he'll be fine. He's not worse. Thank you. This is about... Where are you? I don't know. Next to a tree. Fuck. The driver's dead. No, I think he's fine. You should be able to see a tower nearby. I need you to make your way there. I'm on my way to secure it now. Head to the tower. Okay. You can do this, Ajay. Sure, I only have like no medical tr no uh like military tra military training whatsoever. I would say just bum rush them. Just don't be like, I'm not gonna stealth. I'm just gonna be like, I am Bush. <laughs> Me, John, big tree. Yes. You know, see, I am Bush. <laughs> or was it? For some reason, I'm always remembering that scene from The Stupids, which is like one of the most painful movies to watch. I never had the pleasure of seeing that movie. Ow! Owie! What the hell are you? He saw me in Bush! I think that's why. I, I, I think um, the dude, uh, Sir Bleach Care, has. We gotta give him a silly name. Um, I, I think Bleach Captain Care. McStabby Pants. Okay, there we go. Psycho McStabby Pants made it very, very clear that I am not to be the hurt. Hey Guilders, this is JR the Ferret, and thank you so much for watching my show, The Ferret Guild. I'll see you next time. Oh shit! What is that? Oh god, what is that?
What? Hi! Who are you? Who are the f Who knows what we'll play next? Yeah, I know. What? If you have a game that Oops. we can all play, let us know. Maybe if he has it, we can play it. Systems critical. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yep. Yeah.